Hello, Snack Pack. Hello, family of Travel Snacks. Hello, friends. And welcome to another live stream. It is so good to be back. It's so good to be with you. And thank you, YouTube, for letting me know I'm live. <laughs> oh, man, it's been a, a doozy uh, being away from you guys. So it feels nice to be here with you. Um, so Reverend RV is first. Welcome. Welcome Esther, TJ, the Dirty Knobs. How much jail time are we looking at for attending tonight's live? Hmm, I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, and good morning from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And the time is, oh, 8.56. That always boggles my mind still. It just really does. Um, hey, Grant is in the house. Happy snack chat Sunday, snack pack. And yes, I have this on my list. Happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Canadians. And I have no legal grounds to say I'm Canadian, but I, I really feel like I'm part Canadian because I just have a special place in my heart for Canada. I've been there many times and our moderator Grant lives there. So, I mean, you know, Canada is awesome. So yes, happy Thanksgiving. Canadians, and it's always good to be thankful no matter where you live. So, uh, Canada's Thanksgiving is tomorrow, but I know a lot of Canadians are celebrating it on the weekend. So, if you're here, thank you for being on the live during your Thanksgiving festivities. And happy Thanksgiving to you, Grant and Jackie. Uh, hey, Charlotte from Georgia. I love Georgia. Hey, Terry's tenacious. How are you, Terry? Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? Um, oops, let me change this from top chat to live chat. In case I missed anything. Hey, CP. Awesome. Yeah, you love Canada too, Terry? Yes. Canada's awesome. Canada's got some real beauty. And uh, Grant texted me a little while ago saying that they finally open their borders in terms of like, uh, like most, I mean, everybody can go now. You don't have to have a vaccine card. You don't have to have a quarantine. You don't have to have a COVID test. And it's really exciting because I've been wanting to go to Canada for a while. And I guess they, this just happened on October 1st. So I think it's great. And, uh, it just opens up another avenue for me to go visit, you know, back to Canada. So that, will be on my list. I don't know when, but uh, I think it's very exciting. Hey, Ryan from Ohio. Oh, I haven't been to Ohio yet. Um, hey, Dresel, you're an honorary, honorary Canadian. Thank you. I, I, I accept the golden leaf with maple syrup dripping on it. I, I accept. Thank you. Um, hey, Fire. Hey, Annette. Oh, welcome. You're new. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for watching the videos and thank you for being here. Everybody, welcome Annette to the live stream and the travel snacks. Hey, Fire. Uh, I'm not at the beach. This is just a um, tapestry. I don't know what they call it. Just like a something that I got off of Amazon because I am still recovering from my surgery that I had a few weeks ago. And I just wanted to like feel kind of like slightly on vacation. So I bought this and me and my mom tacked it up uh, before I went into surgery so that I'd have like a nice little backdrop. <laughs> but thank you for noticing. Um, hey, Ophelia uh, from Michigan. Awesome. Also another place I haven't been. I want to go to BC next summer. I'll say, Ooh, awesome. Yes, that would be a great trip. Thank you, TJ. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Um, so before we get it, all the way started, you know, maybe put a little like on this uh, live stream. I haven't been on the live stream uh, in like at least a week and a half, I think. I can't remember when we went live last. Um, so if you are on here, put, the put a like on it so YouTube knows that you still like the live streams. Um, and I appreciate everybody showing up today because, you know, Sundays can be kind of calming and relaxing. And it's just nice to have a little get together. Um, I feel like I definitely visit Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Okay. That sounds awesome. 
Hey, Shane from the UK. Awesome. Another place I'd like to go. Michigan Adventures. Fall in Michigan is beautiful. I bet. I bet. Hey, Louisa, thank you so much. This is this hair is the product of taking a shower right before the live stream and not having time to blow dry it and curl it or do anything special with it. Plus, I'm too tired for all that. So I just wrapped it up in two little buns and put some rubber bands around it. So thank you for noticing and for the compliment. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, Luis. Louis, uh, your background and hair look great. I'm praying for yours. Thank you so much from Illinois. Thank you. Hey, Isabel, Isabel from Quebec, Canada. Awesome. Hey, Jeff. I pray all's well with you and your cup. Thank you so much. Copper Harbor, tip top of the, of the up. Amazing in the fall. Ooh, that sounds delightful. Esther, it's, oh, it's Monday morning. Still boggles my mind. I'm telling you, boggles my mind. Hey, Abba's daughter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally one of the easiest styles. And I I should wear my hair like this more often because it is so easy. And sometimes if I wear little two little buns like over here, then when I go to sleep, it, you know, go the pillow goes on it like here and it presses into my back of my head and it hurts. So this is actually better for sleeping. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was looking at Minnie Mouse. That's cute. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Patty from Newfoundland, Canada. I love all the Canadians that showed up today, despite it being a holiday weekend. Thank you. Hey, Meredith, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, if you're new here, make sure that you are subscribed and have the notification bell turned on. Also, if you're new here, uh, put a thumbs up or type new in the uh, chat so that we can all welcome you because we are a loving Travel Snacks family and, um, you know, we want to make sure that you feel welcomed here. So, yes. Uh, Charlotte, how are you feeling since you're sort of, thank you so much. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Uh, Terry says, how uh, was the surgery a success? Yes. Uh, oh, Isabel, Isabel's new. Welcome, Isabel. Jose is new from Florida. Awesome. I love Florida. I think I'll be going to Florida in the beginning of next year. Hey, Phil. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I love it. I love it. Love it. Thank you guys for being here um, and for being part of the snack pack. New March G from New York. Also love New York. I love all the new people, all the new names I'm seeing. Thank you for being here. Um, awesome. 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 Jeff says, I am an old timer smiling. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I love all the people that have been around for so long. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. Um, so awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Um, all right. So let me just give you like a quick little progress update. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I had a hysterectomy surgery on September 15th. The recovery is four to six weeks. Um, I feel like I might've cheated the system a little bit because I really have not felt bad at all. And maybe that's just the nature of a hysterectomy, but I had a laparoscopic hysterectomy and, uh, I had an incision in my belly button and two on either side of my belly button. Um, those have little scabs on them. Um, I haven't had any pain in the incision site. I had minimal aches and like cramps and pains in the first week. Since then, I've had little bits of pain. I did have a teeny, teeny bit of bleeding, but apparently that's normal. Um, and the biggest kind of thing that's been happening to me is that I do feel fairly tired. Uh, I can do something pretty basic and then I I feel like I need to lay down. I, I feel pretty tired. Um, and that's just simply because I can't see what's going on internally um, in terms of, you know, there's things that they cut, took out. And so there's stitches and cauterization inside internally. Um, I can't see it. So uh, I do need to be careful about lifting, stretching and bending. And I am, I mentally and physically don't feel bad. So I'm ready to go. I feel like normal. I feel normal. Um, like I said, just little basic aches, basic aches, just like in the pelvic area, just like, you know, just like take a Tylenol and you're done with it. Um, but because I feel fairly normal, 
I've just been antsy to just get back in the van and get going and do all the things. And a couple times I've really pushed it a little bit too hard. And so that's why last week I was like, I think I'm doing too much. I think I'm pushing myself. And so I just made the decision to just not do the live stream and just chill out and just relax mentally and physically. Um, but other than that, I feel great. I feel fine. Um, uh, so yeah, I feel great. So next Thursday is my post-op appointment. So it's like a one month, like almost one month, um, checkup and I guess, and I'll go see my surgeon and, um, she'll check and make sure that everything is fine. Uh, the incisions are fine, uh, or the, you know, the, they're healing properly. And, um, after that, I'm sure she'll tell me, you know, whether she feels that I can, you know, go back to normal, uh, no matter what, I still have to limit my lifting and bending and stretching. Cause they said that you have to really watch that for, um, more like eight to 12 weeks. Cause you don't want to lift anything heavy. Um, but I haven't driven and not even one time since I've had my surgery and that's been like three weeks. And for somebody that drives all the time and lives in a van, it's weird. I feel like, whoa, I haven't driven at all. My mom and I have basically stayed in this room or like hung out with my parents in the other room. Um, or, uh, if I needed to go somewhere, I've went with my parents, like grocery shopping. Um, today we went to, to Home Depot because I had to get a couple things for my van. Uh, and I think, and we went and me and my mom went to Dollar Tree one day and Aldi's. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I'm, you know, kind of like ready to get it popping. Um, so like I said, next week will be like the one month and I'll see what I can do from there. Um, let's see. Slug boat travels. Oh, you're new. Welcome. Welcome. Just found your channel. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Awesome. Hey, Gerald Ann from Florida. Love your channel. Glad your recovery was going on. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome. Um, Yes. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, TJ. Um, yes. Thank you, Meredith. Lots of rest to heal. Yes. Thank you, Phil. Hey, Kenny from Nashville. Awesome. Lewis Ellison, you are so practical. Even with your hair explanation, I will be starting out from Kewanee, Illinois to San Diego to my niece's apartment tomorrow. If you know a good route, let me know. I don't know uh, a good route to like in terms of the freeways and stuff. Um, because I've never taken that drive. Um, but there are some really beautiful things to see along the way. So hopefully you'll see those things. Thank you, Terry. Geraldine, smart decision. Your body needs the energy to heal. Sunny, thank you very much. Phil, uh, how Simon do it? I'm actually going to talk about that right now, Phil. Uh, Esther, take your time. Don't rush. Ease slowly back into van life. Yes, you did have a big sitter. Yes. Uh, haven't started working on my van yet. It just got some repairs. Oh, wow. Um, all right. So, so in terms of getting back out on the road and Simon, my van, um, so my plan was to like get outside and start my van at least once a week and three weeks went by, um, well, at least two weeks went by and I never like went and started the van. So earlier this week I started the van and it didn't start. It was like a hundred and million times dead, just a hundred, the battery was just dead. Uh, so I, I do have a portable jump starter. So I got that out and jump started it. Um, and then I went out again today to just do it again. And it was dead. <laughs> so I had to jump start it again today. And one of the problems is, uh, that, my parents live in the desert, so their house is in the desert. So there's a lot of little desert rats and desert mice. And so they've been getting into my engine and like chewing wires and stuff. And I don't, I don't see any damage, but I've seen the little mouse or rat poops on, my, on top of my battery and like near the alternator. So what I did is 
And this is one of the days I think I overdid it because I like lifted up the hood and I was like doing things out in the workshop and like trying to get things done. And so my dad helped me to like plug in a, um, a long extension cord. And I, my parents have one of those like sensors that's supposed to shoo away pests that don't work. Uh, but also we put a radio out there, like an old, old time radio, um, and turn it on talk radio. So it sounds like somebody's talking around the van. And then we put like a little light out there as well. Uh, those mice don't care about that. They, I went out a couple of days later and there's still little turds on the battery. So I swept them off, swept them away. Uh, one thing that I heard that might work is to shave off like a little piece of um, Irish spring soap, which my parents use that kind of soap. So I like sliced off a few little pieces and I set them in the engine, like, you know, all around. Um, and that was just yesterday. And I went today and there wasn't any, any little turds today. So, you know, maybe that's helpful. I don't know. I guess I'll check it every day. Uh, the engine is just like the engine hood is just open. Um, so I just go out there and check and hopefully that's okay. Um, and I have been doing like little, little minor fixes on the van. Um, like my little, my curtain rod, it's like a bungee cord and it has, it's in two eye hooks. One of the eye hooks pulled out. So I had to get some like um, this like construction glue cement stuff and squirt it in there and stick it back in and like press it down with this little piece. So I just did like basic things so far. Um, and then uh, for those that know, like a few months back, I ran into one of those yellow pylons at the gas station and like cracked the side of my door. And um, there's a big, huge dent and my stepper like kind of cracked. So my dad crawled under there yesterday and kind of reinforced a little bit of the stepper. And then we went to Home Depot today to buy some like thin steel. And he's going to reinforce that step a little bit more so that like when I step on it, it doesn't crack all the way off. Um, because usually I would jump in there and, and do more to help my dad. Uh, but I'm not supposed to be like bending over, crawling on the ground, getting under the van and stuff. So um, my dad's kind of been jumping in there to try to help me. Um, let's see. I have a bunch of stuff that's accumulated in this room uh, that I need to start reloading into the van. Um, I have some laundry that I have, you know, needed to do in the van and I'm going to eventually need to put all my stuff back in the fridge. So there's quite a bit that needs to be done before I get back into the van. So over the next week and a half to two weeks, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So the van is doing fine, uh, except that it's, I need to start it more. I probably should, once I get the green light for driving, I should probably drive it around a little bit. Um, and then a few months back in San Diego, I had the van in for repairs when I had to get a new gas tank and or not, I couldn't get the new gas tank cause they didn't find one, but there was some stuff that I had to get repaired. And during that visit, they had listed out a few other things that need to get repaired. So, um, once I get back on the road, I'm going to try to find a different mechanic that maybe has a little bit lower costs because some of the things they said was imperative and who knows, but you never know. Um, but I, I do feel like I need to probably get some of those things done. So I need to <clears throat> just bite the bullet and maybe spend the money on that. Um, Shane has, so has anything new happened to the van? Your dad could have turned into a double tacker by now. Um, no, that's, that's the only thing is, uh, is like reinforcing that stepper. Um, there's a couple little things that I also still need to fix. Like the little, the light plate that has my dimmer switch fell off the wall. So I need to glue that back on. I actually glued it the other day and like I rolled up a sweatshirt and stuck it against there to like press it in. And when I went back to, you know, take out the sweatshirt, it had stuck the glue. I didn't see that there was glue on it and it stuck to it. So I had to like rip the sweatshirt off. And I was like, thank God I didn't put a hole in that sweatshirt, but it actually ripped the plate off again. So I got to re-glue that. So that was a bummer. Um, 
that are going to suggest a battery tender. Is that like a trickle charge? Because my dad finally put a trickle charger on it today, um, which is like, I think he said it's like three amps. So that's going to take 450 years to charge it, but at least it should keep it from dying. But I, I, I don't know. Um, Lewis, thank you, Elson. I will take my time and see the sites. Is your battery over three years old? If so, you may need, no, it's, uh, uh, pretty much kind of a brand new battery. Install a cat under the hood. That would actually be a smart idea. If we had a cat, get a cat to fix the mice issue. Yes. You might get leprechauns with Irish soap. True. True. Install a cat. Yes. Kathleen, every time you jumpstart your battery, you lessen this lifespan. Better to keep a trickle charger on it. You may also need a new battery. Yes. Uh, the battery is fairly new. Um, so I think it just needs a trickle charge. Um, and so uh, I do have a trickle charger on it. Let's see. Um, how old is the battery? AutoZone and other car parts stores will often load test the battery for free with their expensive testers. Also, bad trickle charger with a small cell panel. Yeah, so uh, we do have a trickle charger on it now, so it should be good to go. Uh, Terry says, "I don't know if I told you I lost my mom at the end of." Oh no, Terry! I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, I'm going to say a prayer for you for a prayer of comfort. Uh, that is really, really sad, and I'm very sorry to hear that. Um. Valerie says, hi there from Nashville. Welcome, welcome. Um, Grant, hey, Snack Pack, did you know Allison has a second channel? If you haven't done so, why not subscribe? It's called Allison Loves. That's right. Uh, thank you, Grant, for posting that. I do have a second channel. It's fairly new. I started it right before, uh, or maybe it was during my surgery recovery, right when I had my surgery. Uh, and it's a channel about saving money, product reviews, Dollar Tree, Amazon, all these and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, then yeah, go check it out. It's a fun channel and we're almost at a thousand subscribers and I'm really excited about it. So thank you for posting that grant. Um, Jeff, play some peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, lemon oil. Them critters don't like cloves either. Uh, you know what? I might try that next if this Irish spring does not work. Um, the dirty house. Battery tender is a smart trickle charger that turns on and oh, okay. I've never heard of that. Okay, I might check that out. Um Johnny says you need to charge your battery with a regular charge trickle charger. Well, I keep it from getting the charger battery on your band for two. And yeah, and, and actually I did the two times that I jump started it, I ran it for the first one I ran for 30 minutes. And then a couple days later, I had to jump it and I ran it for like 20 minutes. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is it's got like that trickle charger on now, but I think I'm going to just try to be diligent about starting it every day and letting it run. Um, because it's parked in the backyard and it's kind of a pain to, to let, get it back out on the street, not a pain, but you know, I don't really want to do it. Um, but once I get my post-op appointment next Thursday or this Thursday coming up, then I'll start driving it around and just, it'll, it'll be normal again. Um, we use battery tenders for our work trucks and they sit for a while. They are in good investment. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let's see what I was going to tell you. Um, the other thing that my dad and I have been talking about in the past couple of days and mainly today is, um, I, before I started living full-time in my van, like the day before I started getting on the road with it, uh, we painted my van with spray paint with 25 cans of spray paint, and it wasn't enough. So it's kind of bothered me this whole time. It's not the fact that I want it or need it to look professional. It's, it just looks kind of tacky. It, it looks like spray painted. It's, you know, you can see like some of the old paint shine, like coming through. So it looks kind of like zebra stripes in a sense. And it's now I've had crashed it a few times because, <laughs> you know, I ran into things and there's dents in it and it just kind of bothers me. You know, I, I don't want it to look super tacky. I don't care if it looks dented or whatever. I just don't want it to look like this. So I've really been for a while wanting to repaint my van. I don't think I'm going to use spray paint again because it is kind of worn off a little bit. It doesn't look glossy. Um, so what I'd like to do is sp spray it with um, textured paint, like the bed liner, 
paint, but getting it done is extremely expensive and I'm really conserving my money. So we've been looking all day on Amazon, not all day, but we looked for at least an hour on Amazon and Walmart and we found some textured paint, like a company, a few companies that sell the textured paint. Um, the Raptor one is expensive, but there's some like kind of knockoff ones that had good reviews. Um, it's still going to be fairly costly. Like I think like five or $600. But um, the other thing is that because it's poorly spray painted, it's, it's starting to rust a little bit. So I really also need to like kind of resand it. Um, so what I'm going to probably do is end up buying a few uh, gallons of this textured paint. And then in a few weeks when I'm feeling a lot better, like in terms of healed, um, my dad and I are going to embark on, you know, sanding it down a little bit more, um, wiping it down, re like taping all the windows off and then, you know, spray painting the texture on there. Um, and I think that'll be look a lot better. I think it's going to look a lot better. And um, so in the meantime, I might take a trip to San Diego uh, because there's a few things that I have to take care of out there. Also, there was somebody that I wanted to do a tour with that I wasn't able to get done before my surgery. So um, I can film a tour while I'm out there. Um, so I might do that after my post-op. I might go to San Diego for like a week or two and then come back and, and paint my van. Uh, and then after that, I'll get back on the road and get back into some adventures. So there's a lot going on. Um, let's see. Hey, Diane. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Isabel, check your alternator. And what is your friend? Uh, my name is Allison. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks, Grant, for posting that. Um, go camo pink. That would be really cool. I actually did think about, because this particular textured paint is tintable, and I actually did think about tinting it because I would love to have kind of like uh, a light blue band, but you can really go wrong if you get the wrong tint levels. I don't want it to be like baby blue where it looks like, I don't know what. I would love it for it to be like kind of like a... I don't know what's like, I don't know what they call it. Some kind of egg, egg blue. If somebody knows what I'm trying to say, it's like the, like those eggs that are blue or like not Tiffany blue, but I can't remember the name of it, but I would love to have like a nice, beautiful blue van, but I don't want to go down that path because I think if I ruin the tint color and I've spent so much money on this paint, I'm going to be upset. So I'm just going to go with white again, but I, we're going to put a textured black strip on the bottom. And I think that's going to liven up the van a little bit. So camel pink would be awesome though. If I had the skills to do that, I might, but I don't think I have the skills for it. Oh, thank you, Graf, for posting those links. Uh, yes. If you would like to donate to the snack fund, feel free to do so. Uh, but it's never, you know, obligated or anything like that, but I appreciate all the donations. Uh, Lewis says, when I was in the Air Force, if I was gone for over a week, I would disconnect the battery when I returned. Oh, I would always start with talking about, okay, okay, that's a smart idea. Jim, hello from Northern Indiana, RV Capital World. Awesome. I did not know that. Hey, Vinny Van, how are you? I've done a lot of Herculean on my van. After sending, sanding, be sure to give several coats. It will wear off probably three or four coats. Oh, interesting. Good to know. Uh, I looked at the Herculean, Herculiner, um, but I could not find one in white uh, anywhere. So unless it was the spray, spray can ones, but the gallon ones, I only saw the black. So I don't know, maybe you have a some insight on that. But yes, I've heard on the read, like the reviews for all the other paints, uh, all the other paint brands that when you're doing this, this textured paint, you do need to have a few coats. Um, so we'll see TJ. There you go. Robin egg blue. Boom. That's the one I was looking for. All of you have it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Robin egg blue. Yes. Godzilla blue duck egg blue Bigfoot blue. Yeah. I, I want like, kind of like, let's see. Let's see, where's my, 
like this right here, like this blue right here. What's that? That would be a really pretty blue, like not too dark, not too light, because I don't want it too dark because it's going to get too hot in the van, but not too light the, to where it's like looks like babyish. I'd love to have just like a mid mid level blue. It was so pretty. It'd be so pretty, but I feel like I would not get it right. And then you have to make it in batches. So what if you get like the first batch just right and then it comes off a little darker on the other side and I don't know. It's very tempting to do because I'd love to have a nice pretty blue van, but I don't think I might be prudent to pick a non-lady color that doesn't scream female inside, but that's also a good point, Phil. Also, I think most of us are thinking the same. Yes. Uh, Barney blue. No, I don't want Barney blue. I think it'd be Barney purple. <laughs> hey, Tracy, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Lewis, your dad is the greatest painter, mechanic, fabrication genius. You are so blessed to have him helping. Yes, I definitely feel blessed because he's helped out so, so much. Uh, Vinny says, true, haven't seen, but black, I'm good. At yes, okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, I the Herculiner seemed like a really good choice, but I couldn't find it in a different color. Julie, hey, hey, Julie, how are you? Uh, hey, Denise. Uh, I'm at, still at my parents' house recovering. Hey, Blandrew Mech. Thank you so much. The Dirty Ops Ocean, Ocean Blue. Yeah, that'd be really pretty. Sapphire. Sapphire is pretty dark, Johnny, but it, I, lo I do love Sapphire Blue. Uh, I'd love to paint my van. Honestly, like my favorite would be to paint it navy blue, but that's going to be like way too dark. So that's out. Julie, can you buy a small amount of blue and paint a wood board before applying to the van? Um, I mean, so I don't know because they sell the tint separately from the, the textured paint. So you have to mix it yourself. So I think it'd be like kind of a bummer, but I mean, I could maybe try it. Uh, I could already tell you right now, my dad would be like, we're not doing that. Just paint it white and leave it alone. <laughs> hey, Daya, how are you? Hey, Nelson, how are you? Happy Sunday, fun day. Hey, HGJ, good luck though. How are you? Uh, waste of money. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Jeff, San Diego Charger Blue. Yes. Thank you, Nelson. Oh, Denise coming through with the dollar 99. Press for CD, speedy and completely. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Let me give you a shout out. Let me give you a shout out. Uh, let me turn my sound on first. Thank you very much for that donation. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your nice message. I really appreciate that. Um, hey, Mountain Wanderer. Uh, been a while since I've been. Okay, thank you. Yes, I skipped last week. So I'm glad to see you guys here. Uh, Nelson, I'm doing really well. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So one of the things that I want to talk about is something that's come to me uh, as I've been recovering for the past three weeks and I don't even know, like it's been a, it's been a learning experience for me because I don't know when it happened. I think this happened slowly. Um, I don't, I no longer really learn, know how to relax. I used to be able to relax when I had, you know, like a more traditional job. I used to take naps. I could relax. I could get off work and relax. Uh, you know, I would chill out. I would, you know, have a lot of time on my hands. But somewhere along the way, I don't know how to relax anymore. And it's funny because before my surgery, I was like, I'm just going to lay around all day. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to chill out and I'm going to take advantage of it. And I'm going to have my mom make my meals and stuff. Not, not the whole time. I wasn't that jerkish, but she's been like, you know, wanting to help me out. And she's like, lay down, I'll get it. I'll get it. And I'm like, oh, I'll let you. I think she's made me like three sandwiches over this whole time. And I've just, you know, just got up and did all my own things. And she's like, lay down. And I'm like, no, I can make my own food. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know when this happened to me. I don't feel calm and relaxed. Most of the time I feel like I'm constantly going, constantly thinking before the surgery, it was at its height because I was trying to record a billion videos to have content during this recovery time. I'm still editing a lot. I'm still editing for hours a day in my recovery. I'm, I'm doing all the things, you know, I'm doing all the things. Um, and over this past week, it kind of just hit me because I think it was one of the days that I overdid it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you like this? <laughs> you like in my whole life, I've always thought people that are like, um, workaholics or overwork. I'm like, why do they do that? You don't have to do that. And I think a lot of it has to do with the, um, the culture of content creation, because over time, I think what happens is you feel like you have to do more in order to, um, kind of beat the algorithm or, you know, to get more views or to like increase your, um, your ad revenue, because, you know, I'm doing this full time. So, and you always want to like, at least for me, I, I want to provide as much value as possible. I want to please as many people as possible. I want to give as much information as possible. When people suggest things, I want to do it for people. I want to be like, okay, I'll do that. I'll make this video. I'll do this. I'll do that. I like to do, uh, you know, connect with as many people as possible. I don't like to let people down and all of that has gotten me to a place that I don't even really recognize my life as my own or being that enjoyable. And one of my videos that's doing the best right now, ironically, is one that was like five reasons the van life sucks or something like that. And when I made that video, I was super stressed out and all those points, 100% valid. I didn't lie in any of those points. They truly are things that I believe in. But I think a lot of it has to do with the extreme pressure and stress that I feel. And I think this time of being able to be forced, not being able to, but being forced to sit down, relax, has <clears throat> given me the opportunity to think and think about how I want to progress moving forward. And it's funny because Grant, our moderator, he told me this a while ago and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Cause I, you know, like I said, I'd like to please everybody. So he's like, you should go back and watch some of your, your old live streams and your old content and specifically the first live stream. And I've been meaning to do it, meaning to do it. And I finally did it. And, and I started looking at some of my older videos and I was more relaxed. It was, I was more chill. And it just, I've been trying to reflect on how I got here and how I want it to be moving forward. And so thank you to Grant for pointing that out because sometimes it's nice to look back and go, oh, things were simpler back then. I also know many YouTubers, or not many, I shouldn't say many. I know a couple YouTubers that don't even spend hardly any time editing their videos. And they still do great on YouTube. Some people edit literally on their phone and post it in like 15 or 20 minutes. And I'm over here editing videos like they're, you know, like, uh, you know, high production value videos for like eight to 10 hours of editing, adding in effects, adding in captions, adding in all the things. And I do that because I enjoy it and I think people will enjoy it. And I want to provide videos that gives people joy and happiness. And I want people to be able to watch the videos and feel a little bit lighter after they've watched them <laughs> because the world has a lot of things that are upsetting. So my channel's kind of always been I've always wanted it to be a place where people can come and we don't have the heavy feeling, you know, that's kind of surrounding the world. Um, so one of the things that I need that I've been wanting to get back to is just a simplicity. And I don't have it all together at this point, how I'm going to achieve that because now I am doing two channels, which 
I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I think it's fine. It's mostly the editing and all the other things that I'm trying to do. And um, I'm not even going to bore you with all the other things. But one of the things that I wanted to say is, you know, whatever you believe in, it's on, it's up to you. It's fine. But I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I, my life is fully foundational on the word of God. And one of the things that I read today was in Exodus 14, 13, and it says, stop being so fearful. Remain steady and you will see how Adonai, which is God, is going to save you. And that's from Moses. Um, I don't have, I don't feel fearful. I, I don't really have a lot of fear in my life, but I don't feel, um, I, I want to, do I feel stable? I don't know if that's the right word. I don't feel, yeah, I guess stable. I don't feel I feel like I'm all over the place in my brain because I'm trying to do too many things. So one of the things that I've been doing over the past week and, and will be for the next week while I'm still at my parents is just looking at everything and just paring it down to like, what's the most important thing that you want or need to do? Because I, I mean, for a long time now, I've just been, you know, doing van life to make videos. I haven't even really enjoyed it that much, not just because of that, but because it's been so flipping hot and all the reasons I listed in that one video, I feel lonely. I feel so hot and sweaty all the time. Um, and I feel like I'm doing videos just to do videos. And when I started out living in my car, I did it because I just wanted to share what I was doing on a daily basis or, you know, not daily, but I just wanted to share it. I didn't, think too much about the analytics or the algorithm and all these things and everything that everyone's telling me that I need to do to just whatever and like blow up my channel and stuff. I don't really care about it, to be honest. I don't care if I'm famous. I don't care about any of those things. I make enough money. It's not a lot. It's very low, but it's enough for me. And I don't really care that much. You know, I don't care to be like a bazillionaire. It's not, I'm not money motivated like that. So I say all that to say, you might see a little change when I start getting back out there. Some of my videos, the videos coming up may start to be more simple and may not be as edited or as polished or as dynamic. And it's just going to have to be that way because I, I don't know. I, I don't want to keep doing it like this because I think it's coming out in the way the videos are coming out. Um, and I don't want to be that, I don't want to be that person. So I wanted to ask you guys in your life, do you feel like you lean more towards working too hard, workaholic, a type personality, or like going, 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 or are you the kind of person that's really Zen and chill and like, just like relaxed, or do you find yourself in the middle? Like I, I am very curious for the snack pack that's on here. What, where do you, where do you feel like you are in your life? Because right now I've slid off the cliff and I'm all over the place. Let me read some of these comments. I was rambling for a long time there. I had to. I felt like I had to get that out. Um, Denise, of course you deserve that. And we're all oh, thank you so much, Denise. It's hard work doing what you do. It's hard. thank you so much. Uh, Terry says maybe do some meditation. So Terry, that's good that you said that. I uh, one of the things that I I um. I pray and the way I pray is I pray throughout the day. I just talk to God. I don't like formally, you know, bow and pray, you know, I, I do, but I, I mostly just pray throughout the day. I talk to God, but I have fallen off on in terms of literally getting on my knees and just a focused moment with God or just a time to just sit and let God speak to me. I've fallen off. I read my Bible every day for like an hour and I'm really into learning the word, but I have fallen off on that. So meditating on scripture, meditating on God's word, listening to God. I think it's, you know, that's, I wrote that down as something that I'm re putting back into my schedule instead of jumping up and going, Oh, I got to start editing. I got to start doing things. So yeah, meditation and, you know, just doing that kind of relaxation. I think it's good. Louis, ha, ha, your dad is so practical. Air Force Blue is lighter than Navy Blue. You might like it. Your mom is greater. Thank you. Thank you so much. And yeah, Air Force Blue might be really nice. 
Um, yeah, maybe I, I do feel like this little bit of anxiety and I don't like to claim that in my spirit because I have dealt with anxiety years ago and I was like, I'm not going back there. And I rest on God's word of um, being anxious for nothing. Philippians four, six, be anxious for nothing. But the rest of that scripture says, but through prayer and petition with Thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And I've left that part out. So I'm like, don't be anxious. Don't be anxious. But I haven't done the praying part to like, you know, ask God to help me through this. I've been relying on things too much for myself. Uh, oh, Tracy, happy early birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, yes. Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes, Tracy. Uh, thank you, Julie. Thank you. Yes. Throw, throw a, a thumbs up on this. So throw a like on it if you're on here. Um, Hey, Dave O'Days from Behind Enemy Lines in sunny SoCal. Hello, hello. TJ, that could lead to burnout. Yes, I am. I feel burnt out. I feel burnt out. Uh, not so much now because I've really been laying in this bed for a long time, just sitting here and contemplating. So I feel like the burnout is, you know, subsiding a little bit. Uh, but because I've had a moment to think and I've pretty much stayed off of social media a lot too, which... It's also on my, I wrote a whole list of things. I wrote a thing. I'm not going to show it because I can't remember what I wrote here. And I don't know if there's personal things on here, um, but I made two columns. One of them says at the top, say yes. And the other one says, say no. And I wrote down things like you can say yes to this, 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 and say no to this, 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 like say yes to if it credits God or uplift God, uplifts God. Uh, is it organized? Does it bring calm? Is it simple? Does it connect me to others? Is it, does it delight in the Lord? Is it, prayerful? Is it joyful? Does it improve people's lives? And does it provide rest? And then I'm going to say no to anything that, uh, you know, isn't focused on God. It does, if it causes division or gossip, if it's time consuming, uh, takes away from relationships with people, if it has anything to do with quick reactions or lashing out at people, excessive social media, forcing a situation, stress, fear, anxiety, or anything that's a time waster or a time suck or any person that's a time suck. Those are on my list. Um, so yes, I have felt the burnout and I need to let go of some of these other things. Cause I, I will say on a side note, I know there's a lot of comments, but I just got to say this and I hope this is taken with the most love possible, but I get a lot of messages from people wanting me to call them on the phone or um, wanting to be friends or wanting people, you know, wanting to meet up. And it's very difficult for me to, you know, to be there for everybody. Um, and I feel sad to say no. <laughs> so sometimes I can't get to everybody and that makes me feel sad, but sometimes I just don't have enough energy or enough in me to, to facilitate all that. And it's not realistic to do that anyways. So if, if anybody on here or watching this replay has wanted a phone call from me or a meetup or something, I've just not, I just can't do it. You know, it's just going to have to be a no. And the best way is to just leave a comment on under any of the videos, because it not only allows me to see it, but it helps other people too. Cause I'm sure I, I'd say 90% of the things people write to me is something that could benefit somebody else. And so I think it's, you know, it's another thing I'm gonna have to say no to is, you know, trying to be there for as many people as I can. That's, you know, um, that's not in my like core of core group of like friends and family, because it's just not possible to, you know, to be there for everybody. Um, Isabel, the surgery you had can play tricks on you because it's a difficult time psychologically. Sorry for my, and what you feel is normal and in time it will come. Yes, exactly. There's a lot of hormones going on as well. Um, uh, paperback nomad. Hey, how are you? Thank you for being here. Phil, treat yourself to at least a full hour of hair buns, <laughs> two toes, full body massage for relaxation. L last one was in Vegas. No, you deserve another rest restorative body work at the spa. Ultimate stress. Re Listen, I love a good massage. I did get a massage right before my surgery. My One of my best friends in San Diego, she, that was her birthday gift to me. 
um, right before my surgery, she's like, you are stressed out. Like you, I could just see your whole situation is stressed out. She's like, I can either give you a birthday present around your birthday and send it to your parents' house, or I can buy you a massage. And I was like, I'll take the massage. So I did get a massage right before my surgery and it was awesome. Um, but I, you know, I don't like to just spend money on like frivolous things, but I think occasional massages would be a welcome situation. Rebecca, you need relax. You need relax. You time every day. Make the time. Yes. I, I, that is so far away right now for me every day. Oh my gosh. I just, I don't know. I'm going to have to like kind of take some things off of my plate. Hat down tight. One of the reasons I still love manual labor. I crush it until the job is completed, then crash until the next job. I love that. And I think I was talking to my friend about the way that I'm feeling. And the problem is that with content creation, you don't get to just check out because even after I post a video, I need to answer comments. And then after that, I got to start thinking of the next content and where I'm going and what I'm filming and what I'm doing and will people like it. And, you know, it's, you don't stop and you think, okay, what's next? Do I need membership? I have a membership site. Am I going to sell merch? Okay. I got to do this. I got, uh, you know, and I got millions of sponsors writing me like, will you review our product? And it's always, it's going. And so I need to, I need to organize my schedule. I need to organize my schedule to where, you know, I only answer comments from this time to this time and emails. And I only edit from this time to this time and whatever gets done, that's it. Because I need to be able to like a regular job at some point, cut it off and be like, okay, that work day is over. You're, you're done. Right now, the work day is never over. It's never over. It's never. I don't ever get an ending to it. And a while ago, I started implementing Saturdays as my day, my Sabbath day of rest, where I don't do any work, but I sneak in there and I'll start doing stuff. And that's all, first of all, against God's word. But second of all, it's just like, I feel like I need to keep going. So I'm really going to be deliberate from now on. So I'm just letting it be known if if the videos are a little bit more basic, it's just because my mental health needs it. <laughs> but I love that hat down tight. Eight to 10 hours a day worth of editing. You have a full time. It is a full time job. It's overly full time. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. Hey, Ray Ray. How are you? Hey, Lawrence. Oh, girl, you need someone to give you a good foot rub every day till you relax and crash. It works. I mean, that sounds delightful. If I had a partner, a boyfriend, a husband, that would be awesome. But uh, I don't think I'm going to have a, a random stranger doing it. Um, hey, Wiggy, the reason I started watching you way back when you were in your car was because you thrived on simplicity. Thank you. Thank you for saying that because I remember that time and I want to go back to that time. <laughs> a simpler life. <laughs> hey, Greta, how are you? Uh, let's see. Let me read some of these comments. I've been talking a lot. Oh, I lost my place. Mount Wanderer, midlife anxiety. It's real. I mean, that's true. So true. Lewis, Allison, we enjoy your videos. They do give me joy. Don't change your quality. I'm 71 year old black minister. Hold to God's unchanging hand. He will come. Thank you so much. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I've definitely been over the Little, past little while, I've definitely started to feel more calm. And I remember it. I remember that feeling when I was just getting started where I was like, you know, fully rested in God. And now, and I need to get back to that. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, Matt Wanderer, to be honest, simpler videos are but awesome. I love to hear it. Hey, then it's going to work out. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. I never feel like doing anything. Rusty says, <laughs> Uh, TJ, that's awesome. That's why I love your video. I'm a minimalist. Oh, awesome. Bella, working too hard and super stressed out and missing out on important things. Yeah. Is that how you're feeling, Bella? Um, yes. Yes, Grant. Uh, Grant has some great advice and I'm glad I listened as well. Finally. Tracy, love your videos. So you just do whatever feels good for you. I personally will always watch. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Uh, Wiggy, I'm, I'm a flipping workaholic. Main reason I've not entered into fan life yet. Wiggy, I feel you. I've never been that person, but somehow I, I did, I got to that level and I'm backing off of it. I'm, I don't, it does that. I don't want it. I don't want it. 
And Julie says, I was type A, go, go, go. I got very sick and my body said no more. That changed me and changed my life. Okay. So Julie, maybe that's what's happening to me right now is like, why am I doing this? You know, Diane, actually, I've been very lazy lately. I need to step it up a bit. I'll give you some of my work, Diane. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shane, just do what you want to do. Thank you. Big Rick. Hello there. Ladies choice. Sure are beautiful. Thank you. I had to tight. I probably relaxed too much. I refused to be a slave to the dollar. I love it. I love it. I remember when I had that, that feeling in my life. I'm trying to get back there. Jeff, amen, Allison. God's word will help you. Yes. Yes. I'm a, I am a type up to the point that it has jeopardized my physical health, uh, psychological health, and at spe expense of my relationships with my family friends. Oh, no. So, yes, I, I feel myself slipping into that direction, and I'm slipping right back out. So hopefully you can, too. We'll we'll all work together and try to, to not be such workaholics. Lance, sitting at a restaurant and can't listen, but so glad you're back. Thank you, Lance. Thank you for being here. It's not a good thing. Yes. God's word. Amen, Julie. Keep it simple and enjoy your journey. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The least of these. I'm stuck with not having enough money to fix my van and it's sitting in the parking lot and I'm kind of depressed here. Oh, no. Well, let's pray for the least of these to uh, not fall into the depression. And that's a lie from the devil. So there's always a way or a resource and just take it one day at a time. It may not come right away, but God's timing is perfect. Hey, Bill, but editing is more important to you than it is to anyone else. Everyone just wants to see what you're up to. I think you're right, Bill. I've I've heard this before uh, from some of my friends that, you know, you like they've been telling me, like, you're trying so hard um, to to give so much that you're actually taking from yourself. And I'm like, well, that sucks. And they're like, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> So I think you're right. Like I'm always sitting there editing going, okay, what more can I add to make this an awesome video for, for everybody? And you know, people are like, oh, just you're funny and that's great. And your bloopers are awesome. <laughs> when people tell me the bloopers are awesome, I love it because I'm like, that's it. Took accident. That's a blooper right there. That took absolutely no additional work to just add the bloopers. And I think sometimes I just leave it in, you know? Phil says, I highly recommend Harvard physician and author, Dr. Andrew Weil. I know about Andrew Weil, eight weeks to optimum health. He is an MD, but integra integrative and holistic oriented to meditation and breathing exercises. Check his website. Okay. Um, Lawrence, I spent my life as a type, as an A-type. I started relaxing when I started doing things for others. My girlfriend just, fa just found friend would come over for movie long foot robe and made me he made a huge difference for me awesome rv grandma charlotte hey sounds like youtube is not a way to make a living for you so do what you do what brings you joy i mostly sit around but i'm in the midst of grieving oh no after my husband of 50 years died two years ago oh, no definitely take your time on that and uh you know i'm sorry to hear that uh but yes um yeah i, I mean i do love I do love the freedom of YouTube and I do love the whole, you know, being able to share my journey. Uh, and, you know, I've, God's always provided. I've never been without. Um, I think I just have to, within myself, simplify and remember that I don't have to do all the things. Lawrence says, having that connection, even just with friends. Yes, definitely. Arby Grandma, I so want to go south this winter, but problem with the motorhome keeps coming up. 13 years of caregiving is taking its toll physically on me, but God is in control. Yes, indeed, God is in control. Just take it one day at a time. Linda, God's girl, God knows your heart. You let your light shine. That is one of the reasons I watch you is because you trust the Lord so much. I need to let go and trust him more. more. Amen. I wrote on my list here, let go of the outcome. And I used to say that to myself a lot and that, I forgot about it. And then it just came to me again, like, don't worry so much about how it's going to work out. Just go with the flow. Um, thank you, Grant, for posting that link. Uh, I do have a membership site. It's on Patreon. I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I think that might be one of the things that might end up going away 
at some point because I don't feel like I'm giving enough to my Patreon crew. <laughs> and probably the Patreon crew is probably like, it's fine. But it's one of the places where I feel like I haven't been able to give enough. So for now, it's it's fine. And I'm able to share things first there. Um, so if you do want to become part of Patreon, feel free. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to give more over there. But I feel like I've been slipping. Uh, Wiki, I just bought a two, 2001 Dodge Caravan uh, to turn into the van life vehicle. I'll probably have to put another thousand or so to get it where it needs to. But I only paid fifteen hundred. Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, Dodge Caravan is awesome. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Um, oops. Hi, guys. Sorry, my phone is buffering. I used all my high-speed data. I will have to watch this later. I hope God is great to everyone. I have finally accepted an offer on my house. Awesome. Much love to everyone. Thank you for coming in, Barbara. Tracy, it is important that you enjoy what you do. Otherwise, it'll become a pressure. Do what you enjoy, Allison. We would enjoy the unedited you. Thank you so much. Um, bye, Shane. Thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I'm still going to, you know, do nice videos. I'm not going to just like go willy-nilly and just throw up crap. But I think I'm going to just, you know, try to be a little less precise with everything. Vinny, I got to run. I want to say that. It's a real joy hearing you talk about the Lord and the word. It makes me happy. God bless and heal you up real good. I also completely feel feel you on. I completely feel you on that. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, on the whole, oh, on the whole van life and making videos. It would be nice to meet you someday. You can do a tour of my van. Awesome. I still, yes, I do love to meet people for van tours and interviews. So that's always a hit. Um, Reverend Arby, it sounds like you know what you need to do. Trust God and trust the snack pack through it. Amen. Facts on that. Uh, thank you, Barbara. Carla. Hey, Carla, how are you? Stick your feet out the window while you sleep, and I bet you get that stranger foot rub. <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of foot rub I really want to get, but thanks for the tip. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Diane, we enjoy your videos in the car, and we will enjoy it if you slow it down. We love you. We don't need you to polish it up. Just be thank you so much. Uh, I do enjoy content creators. I'm about as creative as a gray rock. <laughs> Janet, you'll figure it out. Everything will work its way through. Though through, just don't add unnecessary pressure. Thank you so much. Hey, Bill, come through with $4.99. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Let me give you a shout out. Let's give you a... Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Dave O'Days, have you read The Power of Now? Great reading. Also, a follow-up on A New Earth is great. fantastic. Learning to live in the now is great feeling. Yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we love Patreon. No, no, no. Uh, if, okay. Yeah. If, so, if I, if, what am I trying to say here? If I stop Patreon, I'll probably move it over to YouTube memberships. Uh, I didn't really like want to go into it today, but uh, if I do move off of Patreon, I'll still have a membership, but it'll just be through YouTube because I think it'll be easier not only for people to just be where we're all already on YouTube, but it'll be easier for me to post on YouTube. Um, so, and it'll still be memberships will still be private. So I'll have private things that I say to my Patreon crew, but it'll be YouTube memberships, but I haven't quite, uh, had the energy or anything to move it over. So we'll, we'll probably stick with Patreon through the rest of the year. And then I'll assess it with my Patreon crew because I do value your opinion. So uh, don't worry. It's not going to do anything anytime soon. Um, Rebecca, I do not comment much, but I enjoy listening and watching. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Uh, Daya, keep Patreon. <laughs> Tracy says, oh no, that would be sad because I can't pay without extra fees on any other platform. Than oh no, really? What about YouTube? Let me know, Tracy, because that would make a big difference. Anyways, I won't do anything before talking to my Patreon, my current current Patreon snack pack munch bunch. Um, Phil, watch any good movies on Netflix or Amazon Prime lately? I've been watching so many things as I fall asleep. Um, to be honest, I, um, I've i really been fed up with a lot of things on all these channels that's very sexualized, very graphic, gory, really raunchy and very like demon-y. I don't, I'm not into it. Um, I tried to watch 
the House of Dragons, and it was very incesty, and I couldn't do it. Um, so I've actually been watching shows about pets and dogs and like cake baking shows and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. There's been some cute things that I've watched. Now, I will say on the stabby side, I have been watching The Patient on Hulu. That's with Steve Carell and like a serial serial killer being in therapy. That one is a pretty, it's a pretty good hit. Like it's, it's not too gory, but it's very like psychological. So if you're into that kind of thing, that's a good one. But everything else has been too, I'm over it. I'm over all the like, you know, stuff. I don't know. Um, Barbara, I sure hope you are well. You are cutting in and out. Oh, oh no. Um, yes, just watch the replay. Hopefully that'll be better for you. May God bless you in this time. Thank you. Thank you. And this tribe. Yes. Um, let me read these last comments and then we're going to try to wrap it up here soon. Thank you, Tea, Par Tea Party supporter. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Joe, Joe Schmo Cool Stuff is the best. What is the best snack for car living? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could go on for days about best snacks for car living, but I personally loved having uh, like cashews, um, having Pringles in the little, you know, obviously the can that Pringles come in. Um, I liked having like gummy bears and stuff. Uh, I used to eat beef jerky a lot. Um, there's all kinds of snacks, all kinds of snacks. Pistachios are great. Um, little chocolate covered almonds, lots of good snacks. Janet says, I'd like to thank Grant for letting me know about a spammer. I didn't know what Telegram is. And he pointed out, oh, yes, there's been so many spammers on my comments. You guys, I don't have Telegram at all. I don't even have that. I don't even know really what that is. There's another one I forget the name of, but there's somebody that's um, coming on as me in the comments saying, you know, come talk to me on Telegram or come talk to me on Telegram or whatever. That's not me. That's not me. So if you're seeing any of those on under your comments, just report it because I would never say that. I would never be like, join me on another platform in the comments. Um, so yes, thank you, Grant. Grant does a great job filtering out a lot of these crazy people. Hey, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good to see you here too. Um, just letting you know, Wednesday Adams now has her own series. I just saw that. I didn't get a chance to watch the trailer, but I'm going to check that out. Um, Tracy, well, YouTube takes a percentage when I donate on your lives. I don't. Yes, but but so does Patreon. Patreon takes a percentage of all the Patreon um, monthly situations. Um, YouTube does take more, but. I think sometimes for the convenience, it's easier to do things on YouTube. But anyways, we'll talk about that on Patreon. Uh, again, I won't be doing anything anytime soon on that. Um, hey, Brenda, thank you for being here. Patrice says, I'd rather you get all the money. Thank you. Phil says, cashews and pistachios. Yes. Hey, Joy. I became a cat person, YouTube person with Penny the cat. Penny the cat this week. I am so disappointed with myself. Don't be disappointed. Listen, I've been watching shows about cats. I've been watching cat and dog videos on YouTube. Uh, I've been watching shows about pets, pet adoptions. There's one about Pet Adoption UK or Dog House UK or something where they like go and try to match people with pets. I'm not, I'm not, it, that's, it's great. It's wholesome. It's awesome. Um, I wish there was more wholesome shows that aren't corny. Cause like, there's a lot of shows that are like, you know, they're wholesome, but they're like, this is boring. Um, so I think it's great. If you can find something that's, that's sweet, I think it's great. Yes. I don't have a telegram or, I mean, I have a WhatsApp, but I would never tell people what that is or to come join me there. Hey, Nana Nay, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Judy B. I enjoy simple videos. I watch, I watch them to unwind. Enjoy your van life. We are here to enjoy your videos. Not a huge, not huge productions. Your videos encourage me to uh, follow God. Take care of your. Thank you so much. That's very encouraging to me. Yes, those scammers are the worst. Lewis, that Holy Spirit within you will help you discern what is good to watch. That will feed your internal soul. It feels bad. Turn it off. Facts. I ignore comments that say come and chat with me. Yes, ignore those. 
Um, with you on the Smut TV, I've been watching K-drama. It's pretty clean and sweet. Okay, I might check that out. Yeah, the awkward storylines nowadays. I don't, I'm not into it. I'm not for it. It's a lot of like pushing agendas and political things. And I'm like, really? Can we just have a show about just regular things? I guess not. Um, so yeah, I've just been trying to, I did get um, uh, Peacock Plus or whatever. And they have Parks and Rec, which is a pretty wholesome show. And it's, I'm just watching reruns of that. Um, so I don't know. I've just been trying to watch basic things and I usually don't do that until I'm ready to go to sleep at like nine o'clock. I'll just turn off the light and I'll, you know, put my laptop right here next to me on my bed and I'll just kind of lay there until I fall asleep. Um, there's a show called, is it cake? It's a game show, but it's really fun. And they like have these bakers that like make these phenomenal cakes that are like, different items like a shoe or like, um, you know, a chess game or a suitcase filled with clothes or a shell or whatever, a bag of money. And so what, what they do is they put all these cakes and they're like, there's five of these that on the stand and only one of them is cake. And you got to like, and it's from dim from far away. And, and you, the, the judges have to pick out which one is the cake and it fools you. And it's a really wholesome, wonderful show. Um, I already watched it all, but anyways, that's a good one. If you want something that's fun. I have two, two toy silk terriers in my nomadic van life. Such awesomeness. I'm so glad you're a Christian as I am. I blessed blessing sister. Safe to thank you. Freedom and living truth. I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, would you rather shut corn or string beans? Hmm, that's a good one. Do you guys want to play this game real quick? Reverend RV is coming through with a would you rather. Not mad at it. Um, uh, yeah, we can play one. We can play one game. Um, the least of these. I sleep to scripture memory songs on YouTube music. Got a huge playlist. Yes. Sometimes I do that. If I can't sleep, I'll put on one of those like scripture, like five hour, 10 hour situations. It'll get you going to sleep. It's so beautiful. Watching YouTubers better than most shows with people to relate to still watch my sports. Yes. Yes. I've been ac actually kind of been watching a little more YouTube and I've noticed that the ones that I like are more simple and more like lighthearted. That's basically what I've come to is that if I like it, then probably you guys will like it. And I need to come back to earth and just be like, I'm not on TV. This I'm not like signed to a network. I could just keep it simple. So I'm going to just really work on calming down. Uh, I watch and listen to NYS TV clean and awesome super fun. I'm going to write that down. I've never heard of that. NYS TV. All right, let's play the game. Let's play the game. Uh, thank you, Reverend RV, for coming through with that. Uh, would you rather shuck corn or string beans? Put it in the comments. Would you rather shuck corn or string beans? That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, Julie's coming through and saying string beans. Daya's giving a thumbs up and Tracy's going with string beans. Freedom and living truth. I do same with NYS TV and Psalms for eight hours. I do like those Psalms for eight hours. String beans, says CJ. Lori, I love those scripture sleep videos. Yes. Bella's going with corn. Michigan Adventure, string beans. Grant's going with shuck corn. There's something satisfying about it. Freeman Living Truth, I like corn. Brenda Lee Corn. Have you guys seen that cutest little kid? I don't know if it's just on TikTok, but he's like, have you ever had corn? Like he says it in like a funny accent. Like, like he has like, not a lisp, but just like can't pronounce his R's or something. It's so cute. And he's just like, it's the best thing ever. And he's eating a, a thing of corn and it's so cute. Um... Brenda says corn, Mountain Wonder string beans. Tracy says string beans. Hat down tight, both. Rebecca and Lewis and Lori and Phil, corn. HGJ, I'd rather corn. Oh, shucks. I mean, string beans. <laughs> Diane, since I hate string beans, there would be no reason to touch them. So, corn. 
Also, I'm seeing some notifications that some of you are subscribing to my other channel, Alice in Love. So if you're not already a subscriber over there, after this, go over there and subscribe if you like the product reviews, um, because we're almost at a thousand subscribers over there. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, then we're going to go crazy trying to like get my watch hours up. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, but we're almost there. So it's exciting. So thank you for subscribing. TJ says, love to eat both though. I like corn and green beans. I don't know. Would I love to, I don't know which one I would rather because I think corn is easier but then you get all those little strings those little strings unless there's a secret tip that i don't know about i think it might be easier to shuck green beans i think i might go with green beans thank you grant thank you oh yeah we're yeah we're almost at a thousand subscribers on the other channel um so i like both but corn is easy easier. Awesome. Awesome. That's a good question. That's a, that's a good, uh, would you rather that I've never heard of before. So thank you, Reverend RV for that. Um, Grant sent me a few would you rather's a little while back and I was going to pull it up today, but since Reverend RV kicked it off, let's do one more from Grant's list that he sent. Let me pull it back up. I can't remember which one we did, but I think we already did the one that says, would you rather be 80 years old or five years old? Yeah, we did that one. And we already did the one that said, would you rather uh, start the conversation? Okay, we did that one. Oh, I don't think we've did this one. So let's let's do this one from Grant. Um, snapping green beans, TJ. Yeah, sna and the snapping green beans is kind of fun too. Jeff says, game time. Phil says, hit that like button. Yes. Also on... On my new channel, Allison Loves, I'm considering starting live streams over there too. But again, I'm trying to calm down. So I don't want to commit to anything. But I think I'm going to do that because when I hit a thousand subscribers on that channel, I have to get 4,000 watch hours. And in order to do that, I'm going to need more content. So if I do an hour live stream over there, the watch hours don't count when it's live, but the replay hours count. So I think I might start incorporating those over there and I'll probably do like one star reviews and like unboxings. So that could be a fun live stream. So I think that's going to be a hit over there, but I won't do that at least for the next couple of weeks. So I'm just trying to chill. Um, Annette. Okay. Oh, on Roku, Tubi, and Freeve channels, they have tons of old TV series shows. Excellent. Yes. I don't have a Roku or Tubi. Or Freeve. I never heard of Freeve. I'm writing that down. And I for, I keep forgetting about Tubi every time. Thank you for that, Annette. Uh, Lewis, no, put the corn in the microwave for four minutes. Cut the back off and slide it out. No corn silk. Oh, that's a game changer. Not that I buy corn on the cob all the time, but still. Thank you for that. Freedom and Living Truth. TJ, very fun shaping green beans. <laughs> Jeff says corn. Can you pull, could you put all your videos over, can't you put all your videos over to me channel? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, to be as free. Yes. I've heard that. And I've went on there before, but I always forget about it. Joy. So, so to get the watch hours up, do we need to rewatch? So Joy over on that channel. Um, yes. If you just like what I used to do on this, this channel when we were going, when we were trying to get this channel up to 4,000 watch hours, I was literally asking every acquaintance, friend, family member to literally just put on that channel, mute it and just let it go overnight. Just re like, let, let it go in a circle. Just let it loop over all the videos because it just accumulates the watch hours. Um, and then over time we'll hit it. But I, I think I need more videos for people to be able to watch, you know, or even just let it roll. So, um, yeah, if you feel like doing it, it would support that channel to just rewatch the videos, even if it's muted. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Um, all right. So this one is from Grant. This question is, would you rather smell and, and tell me if Grant, tell me if we've already done this one, would you rather smell like burnt rubber or 
have the taste of burnt rubber in your mouth for the rest of your life. So either you're going to smell like burnt rubber or you're going to have the burnt rubber taste in your mouth for the rest of your life. Uh, let's see. I lost my place. <sighs> oh, can't you put all your videos over to the to the new channel? Like, you mean my travel snacks videos? Can I put them over on the new channel? I wouldn't want to do that because that's going to mess up the algorithm. Because that's a totally different niche, if that's what you're asking. I'm not sure if that's what you are. But... Uh, yeah, YouTube. Uh, no, you can't. Actually, that's against the YouTube policy. Anyway, you can't post the same video like over and over. They'll they'll slash it down. Um, all right. So Bella says rather smell like burnt rubber, and TJ as well, and Misty. Bella says I enjoy food too much. <laughs> smell like it. Diane says ew. Neither Reverend Irving. Ew. Hcj burnt rubber taste in my mouth. I'm a bad cook. It will be beneficial for me. Rebecca says, smell, use Vicks Vapor Rub. I mean, that's smart. Hat down tight, smell like. Daya says, smell. Michigan Adventures, smell like. Phil says, if I worked at NASCAR track, smell like burnt rubber. I mean, that, I mean, nobody would question it. Lori's out. She's like, neither. Tracy says, smell like burnt rubber. I like my food too much. Hey, Fonda, how are you? Jan says, smell like it to keep people away from me. I mean, that's a great deterrent. Freedom and living truth. That, yes, that's what I'm asking. I thought you could move the videos over. No, because um, first of all, uh, I can't just take them off this channel and put them over there because I would lose them on this channel. Um, and you can't duplicate videos. It's against YouTube's policies. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to continue to make more content on that channel. And like I said, I'll, <clears throat> I'll probably do some live streams in a few weeks that will at least allow it to have more content on there. And uh, it's okay if the channel grows, you know, kind of slowly, but I do want to get those watch hours up because they expire. So you have to get a 4,000 hours in a year. And so, you know, you don't want to wait too long, but thank you for that thought. Um, let's see. Smell like it, smell like it, says uh, Julie and Lewis. Judy's back on string beans. Um, <clears throat> and I'd say for me, I would not want that taste in my mouth. I already have problems going on with my smell from when I had the COVIDs. So I still have smelling issues. I, I've, it, it rotates. Sometimes I'll smell cigarettes all the time, cigarette smoke. Sometimes I'll smell rotten fruit, like cantaloupe, like rotten. And then the latest one, which I think I've told you is raw chicken. That's the smell I have in my nostrils a lot of times. And it's just random. So I don't like it. So I, I don't want anything else to mess with my taste buds or my nasal passages. But I wouldn't want to smell like burnt rubber. But if I had a choice, that's the one I would choose. And I think it kind of sucked for if you had a partner that had to smell that all the time. But also some people like that smell. Like, have you ever known somebody that likes the smell of like gasoline or markers or something? You could find somebody that likes that smell and it'll be like perfume to them. <laughs> uh, Freedom and truth, neither. I have keen smell, so neither. Thank you for telling me you'll get the 4,000. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, wow. Your sense of smell is still off. From yes, it's been almost a year. Jeff's like neither. Um, I think when I go to San Diego, I want to see if I can get an appointment with my regular doctor to see if there's anything that could be done for my smell problems, because it's, it's, it has lessened. I don't get the, the rogue smells or the phantom smells as much, but I still do get them and they're very strong. So I, I think I'm going to see if I can get an appointment with my primary doctor when I get back to San Diego. Would you rather always smell like brownies or always taste brownies. I'd rather smell like brownies. You would definitely attract a lot of people in your life. Um, I would say I'd always like to taste brownies, but 
if you ate something savory or like something like fettuccine alfredo with brownies in your mouth, that would be weird. Or if you ate something that doesn't go along with brownies, I think it'd be bad. I think it could really ruin your meal. So I would not be mad about smelling like brownies. Who does not want to smell like, like a chocolate chip cookie or a brownie? That's, you would have a lot of friends. That's a good one too. Misty says vertigo for me. Oh, dang, Misty. That's terrible. I, I got vertigo a few times um, from that. I don't know if it was from COVID, but after COVID, I got it. But, and it's terrible. I'm so sorry you're going through that. Julie says smell like brownies. Freedom and living truth, brownies, both. <laughs> Lewis, that is interesting. When I had my umbilical hernia pushed back in a year ago, I got the occasional raw chicken taste in my mouth. I've never heard anybody that had that. That's interesting. That is really interesting. Julie, if I smell like brownies, maybe I would meet a nice man. I mean, maybe me for me too. Uh, Grant says, taste like brownies. My kisses would be amazing. Jackie would love it. Jackie, his wife would love it. All right. So I think we're going to wrap it up because we've gone over an hour. I, I don't mind it too much because I really missed you guys. Um, and not only that, but I missed last week and I, I felt kind of bad about it, but it did give me an opportunity to get this clarity of mind that's just been coming to me in the last week and a half or so. Um, and so I'm kind of glad about this, but I really was happy today to be like, oh, I got a, I got a live stream today. So um, it was great. So I also want to say again, um, you know, happy Thanksgiving to the Canadians because it's always great to be thankful and grateful and always keep that in your heart. Um, and I just love you guys so much. I appreciate the support. Uh, and I know a lot of these things I'm putting on myself and then you guys are here to remind me that you guys love me just as much as I love you. And it's okay to pull back a little bit sometimes um, in terms of trying to do all the things. And so I think it's going to be fun to, to be a little more simplistic as well. And, you know, it just is going to be what it's going to be. And I fully trust in God and I love you guys. And I know you guys are supportive and you guys have been really supportive through this surgery recovery as well. I've gotten a lot of great messages uh, of just love and support and encouragement. And I appreciate it truly. I also appreciate uh, the donations, all the people that are with me on Patreon. You guys have been so supportive. Um, just everything. It's just been really, really amazing. And I just... I'm so grateful for you guys. So that's my Canadian Thanksgiving speech. Um, so I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, so thank you again for joining me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Have a great holiday tomorrow for the Canadians. Have a great week. I do have, um, I think this week's going to be one last interview and tour, and then I'm out of content. So I'm going to need to start filming some things. Um, but that's okay. I think I'm just going to like share with you what I'm how I'm preparing to get back in the van and it's just going to be, it's just going to be great. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you guys on the next live stream, which will be sometime at the end of uh, this week. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Let me just read some of these comments before I close out. Yes. My vertigo did go away. Yes, Julie, you could always use a brownie as an exfoliating luva sponge. I mean, that's true. Uh, thank you for this show. I subscribe. Thank you. Thank you, Freedom and Living Truth. God bless you. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the well wishes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you too. And you are a funny lady. Thank you. Do what you need to do. Prayers for you. Thank you. 56 next week. Happy birthday, Reverend RV. Uh, have a great evening. Stay safe. Be safe. Take a 15 snack break. Yes. Thank you, TJ, Terry, Grant, Diane, TJ, Phil, Lewis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all the prayers for sure. And I will be praying for you guys and I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.